Welcome back team. Today I have a book from Robert Greene called The Daily Laws. And I'm gonna try reading this every day. I don't know if I'm gonna read it like this on video, but I'm gonna read it. There was a point in time where I did read another book every day. There were two books. There was Daily Rituals or Daily Habits. I think it was Daily Rituals and The Daily Stoic. So maybe I'll read from one of these three. But every day I'll share a book with you and there'll be a link in the description to this book and on my website. So let's get to it. October 31st, you are the obstacle. In this world where the game is played with loaded dice, a man must have a temper of iron. With armor proof, with armor proof to the blow, with armor proof to the blows of fate and weapons to make his way against men. Life is one long battle. We have to fight at every step. And Voltaire very rightly says that if we succeed, it is at the point of the sword and that we die with the weapon in our hand. That is a quote from Arthur Schopenhauer. And actually, there is a really good essay from Schopenhauer. Let's see if I can find it here. It is on thinking for oneself is what it's called. So what I'll do is I'm going to add that to my notes for today. And now when I go to my daily note, it'll show up here is, uh, it'll be down here under thinking for oneself because I'll link to it. Right. And so then I can just go there, then I can go here and I can listen to it. So I'll include that link too, if I remember. And so actually we've got that and then we have our daily laws. So if we go to daily laws, we can do the same thing. Open D-I-L-Y laws. And I may not have them in here. So we'll just go to today and then we'll put in daily laws. So we'll get out here. And then inside of here, the parent concept is gonna be a book. And the parent concept of the book is self-engineering. And then there's sibling concepts that can go with it, like health, wealth, finance, whatever it is. And we put note type. And then the note type will be a book note. So book note. And these are all just links. So what happens is when I click on any of these, like if I click on self-engineering, it'll take me to this page with all this information I have on self-engineering. Then if I ever want to write something about self-engineering, I have my references and all these links related to it. So let's go back over to the camera view and continue on. So Schopenhauer in that essay that I want to take note of real quick, he talks about thinking for oneself, how most people don't think for themselves. So I just thought I would bring that up. And because most people don't think for themselves, they end up following the follower. And that creates a society where it creates an environment that is, he doesn't, he doesn't say this, but in thinking about it, it's a magnetic environment. It's, a, it's an electrically charged environment. It becomes a black hole that pulls everything towards it. So basically, whatever the average is, it, the average will pull everyone into the average, but even still, the average will look out to something beyond itself and idolize it. So you have stars in Hollywood and actors and actresses and things like that. And you have people who will not listen to the people in their immediate lives, but they'll listen to the actors and actresses because they have this status. But because they don't think for themselves, they don't ask where did this status come from? 
why are these people idolized? Are they idolized for having some sort of trait that is superior to, to others? And if so, what is that trait? Is that trait supremely beneficial to me as an individual and to society as a whole? Is it going to propel society forward? But most people don't think like that. And that's what Schopenhauer is talking about. And to be honest, if you're still watching this, you don't think like one of those people. And one of the most difficult things you, you're ever going to encounter is attempting to convey this philosophy to those people. Because you believe that if they understood what it is you understand, that the world would operate and be an easier place to work in. But that's not the case. In this place, you can only work on yourself because all of this is a reflection of you. Everything that you've ever seen, every quote that you've ever heard is created specifically for you to deliver you a piece of information. Now, some people don't believe this, but after they go through this a few thousand, a few million times, they understand. And Hollywood attempts to tell us on a very regular basis exactly what's going on. There's a movie Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray. And in this movie, he relives the same day over and over and over again. And perhaps a feature that's maybe not a feature, there's something in the movie that's missed is that he becomes very efficient at his days. And so even though every day is the same, he reaches a point where he's able to establish entire relationships and get things done in a day that other people couldn't get done in a week. Now, I can't remember right now at this moment exactly why Groundhog's Day ended for him, but eventually it did, and he went back into the regular world. But for a period of time, what could have been years, he lived the same day over and over again, where everyone did the same thing and he be, he was able to read what they were doing like clockwork and because he was able to read what they were doing like clockwork he was able to diffuse situations before they happened he was able to make bets and wagers because he knew what was going to happen next and then he could leverage those things to impress people and he could leverage those those relationships to get favors and, and he would just do this and then he would go to sleep and he would wake up and it would all start over again that is how our lives are. We operate on what we believe that we remember. But we don't know if what is in our heads when we wake up was there when we went to bed the day before. And we don't know what tomorrow is going to be because we're creating it in the now. We're always in the now. Now we can go deeper into this. I'm going to finish this, but I'll tell you this that we are living in the dream state. This is not this isn't even life. Think about this place that we're in is opposite. This place that you're in because everything that is said, everything you see is here for you. It's like it's your own personal video game. And if you're watching this is because I came here, it's my purpose to tell you this. And I'm saying this because it's my purpose to tell you this. I was created by the creator to be a vessel for the message that you're receiving right now. This is not a simulation. This is an imagining. You are imagining this. Every day that you wake up, you imagine all of this. And sometimes you're able to carry what it is that you desire into sleep and then when you come back to this place you make it manifest if it's not manifest already and if you practice this night after night eventually you become so good that you can't tell anybody what you're doing because they won't believe you and those that do believe you they're going to want to know how to do it and they're going to become jealous and they're going to become envious and they're going to become greedy. So the individuals that understand this stuff, they typically keep it to themselves. So I'm not giving you everything, but I'm telling you what this place is. So you begin to go look for your own answers. And on that note, we'll finish this in the next broadcast, team.